stink it up. And there you have it, homeboy, this gigantic Scooby snack. All right, as a cocktail, you can put your little mouth on one side, your missus put her mouth on one side, and you all meet. And you both get heart attacks at the same time. What's up guys, it's your boy Alan again, back with another video. And today, we're gonna watch some more Tipsy Bartender. But before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, let's go check this out. Malibu, fresh bottle homeboy, okay. Can't go all in, but I can go kind of all in. Oh yeah, look at that pour. Gotta save some, damn, that he much. Did he mean to pour that much? That was nearly the whole bottle. Next up, we have right here, a uh, creme de banana, okay? I need even less of this than the Malibu, so let's see. Give this a nice little swirl, but I gotta pull out early. Yeah, why are you doing it like that? You usually do that when you're trying to empty the whole liquor. Like, we do that when we do batches for liquor, but you usually expect to pour the whole thing. Otherwise, how are you gonna measure correctly if it's pouring out so fast? All right, right there. And of course, he accidentally pours almost the whole thing again. Go Midori here. <laughs> the green. Now, we're coming behind that with some pineapple juice. This is a fresh can, and this is a new opener, so color it right there. From a whipped cream. You're not gonna leave any room for ice. Another room temperature drink? Are you serious? Why do you like making these room temperature drinks? Why is he using, you don't need to use that. Why did he use two different types of the whisks and then now he has a, the blender with the whisk attachment? This is so many extra steps. Now check this out, homeboy. <laughs> How much whipped cream is he putting into this drink? You already put a whole bottle of Malibu, the liqueurs, and what, you're gonna put a whole can of whipped cream in this thing? <laughs> That's right, Gordon Ramsay. Marvin Stewart, you only never do nothing like that. Do it. It's not gonna whip. There's too many liquids in there. It smells like heaven. It's like a pineapple heaven, homeboy. There we go. See, you can tell that it's not getting whipped because you should see the peaks. It was completely unnecessary to use that electric whisk because this is too much liquid to whip. Are you kidding me? You're putting, there's whipped cream in the drink and now you're gonna top it off with more whipped cream? How much whipped cream is in this drink? This drink, it's mostly whipped cream. This is insane. He put in almost a whole can, and now he's using two cans to put on top. He put in a lot of alcohol in there already, but there's way more cream by volume than the alcohol. I mean, look at that. That's just the whipped cream that he's putting on top. Remember, he put a lot in the drink as well. Dude, look at that. It's almost equal volume above the drink, and that doesn't include the whipped cream that's inside the drink. This is gonna give someone a heart attack. We ain't done yet. Mm, we got pink sugar. What goes good with white? Pink. Real. Yeah, because you need more sugar on this 10,000 calorie monstrosity. Just a little bit more sugar. Pink. pink it up. And there you have it, homeboy. This gigantic Scooby snack. All right, as a cocktail, you can put your little mouth on one side, your missus put her mouth on one side, and you all meet. And you both get heart attacks at the same time. Pink with me, okay? Guys, check this out. This is like a Starburst pink drink powder because it doesn't look white, but it is pink. And I can just throw one, throw one Starburst in, you know what I mean? Like... Why, you already put the Starburst powder in there. This is the same flavor again. You're not adding extra flavor. This is redundant. I, I just stopped. I just stopped. Why are you using a knife to open a candy wrapper? You realize these are for kids, right? It's not that complicated. I tried. Now we coming behind that with a little bit of pink lemonade. Give this Why? You already put the pink Whitney. It's a pink Whitney is pink lemonade vodka. This is redundant. You're adding the same flavors over and over again. A little shaking. Pink lemonade sometimes real hard to find because the stores around here don't have it much. Then use food coloring. Pink lemonade is just lemonade with red food coloring. There's nothing in it that naturally makes it pink. Let me just get one more Starburst in there. 
You guys do not use a knife to open your star. Yeah, why are you doing it then? Cool pink, right? But let's just suppose you want to get it a little bit pinker. Just hit it with one drop of food coloring, okay? He has food coloring! Why did he even put the pink lemonade for the color? If he says that the pink lemonade was hard to find, why did he just get regular lemonade if he was going to use the red food coloring in the first place? Now check this out. If we grab a little pink Whitney here. Come over the top. Why? You already have pink Whitney in the, the drink. Why are you putting more pink Whitney to it? But guys, we're still not done yet. There's one final ingredient, these Starbursts. We gotta garnish with some of And why are you still using a knife? You just told people to not use it, and you shouldn't use a knife. And like I said, this is candy. It's meant for kids to be able to consume without any tools. It's adding all this safety hazards for no reason. The garnishes go in odd numbers, guys. So either use one, three, five, or seven. This is not a martini, all right? How many servings of Starbursts are in here, all right? Three servings of olives. It's not as much calories as three servings of Starburst in this drink. You got the Starburst and you got the Starburst powder. Look, look at it, look at it, look at it, homeboy. Look at it. Hey, watch your fingers, watch your fingers. Why is he doing like that? You know how unstable that is? Why not just poke it into the cutting board? Oh, God, safety, like why is he doing this? Why is he using a knife to open these candy wrappers? And why is he, look at that pick. It's round on the bottom and it, well, this is completely unnecessarily adding safety hazards to the making of this drink. This is a starburst rim on this drink, okay? On this gorgeous beast. How would we do that? Watch this. Oh my God. Let's go for it. You didn't need that many Starbursts to do this, all right? You probably only needed one Starburst because you could rotate the glass and get it along the rim. I mean, this is like completely unnecessary. You don't need to microwave that many candies to rim this glass. I love it, I love it. I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, see, it's a complete waste. Come behind that sweet and sour. One little squeeze of lime. He's using cutting board. Like you're just gonna cut up your marble. With these little extra steps, let's just do it the proper way, please. Squeeze. Nice. This bad boy is gorgeous. Now you can fall out. Some. Of course, he's gonna use room temperature sprite because he always likes his carbonated beverages and sparkling wine at room temperature. I mean, look at the mess he's creating. All he had to do was chill that first in the refrigerator. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Let's get it in there. Oh my God. He let it, oh, he let the warm Sprite run on the outside of the plastic bottle and into the drink. Like why do you even wear gloves if you're gonna be this unsanitary? Oh yeah, it's the line we cut in half. And now he has the cutting board. Why did he not use it earlier when he already had it right there? Put another one right there. Let me, let me get some ice in here. Of course he uses his hand. So sanitary practice is already out the door. Vanilla minis? Okay guys, this is the deadly part, getting this to happen. Why are you putting more vanilla Smirnoff? You already have it in the drink. Why are you adding the same things over and over? It doesn't contribute anything to the drink. Hey, if you enjoyed that, don't forget to check out these other videos as well. And please leave on the comment section on what videos I should react to next. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.